Oh yeah, it saved my butt big time. Uh, I'm talking about this adapter right here. Proform makes it. It's part number 66782. It'll save your day, believe me. You stick your, your half inch wrench in here after you take all the pulleys off. It goes right in there. Or if you got a wrench, you can do it. it, it, it just, there's just no room after a little while, you know. You do it this way, the old way, and you got this pry bar. Of course, you use a much bigger pry bar. But you, inevitably, you just can't get it right. You can never get enough room, unless you got room, you know. But if you don't have any room, then you got to crawl underneath it. And the way I was doing it, uh, I needed to have, you know, be able to put this in here and turn it because. Uh, what I did is I, I, I put a mark on the base of the distributor in the center line of the terminal of the cap and made a mark all the way along and there was eight marks of course and that's how I knew that that cylinder was firing and then I could go to the rockers and because I had a problem uh, you know they didn't know whether it was a hydraulic or solid and that's what I did I rotated the push rod in my fingers and and I cranked down on the nuts I didn't crank that's the wrong word slowly went to very you go very slowly and just till it stops you stop then you go to the next one you and then you turn the distributor you know using this you turn this to the next mark you made on the base and then you know all eight times and then then you're at you know you, you haven't gone too far you know if it's a solid lift it's gonna expand not very much not enough could do damage but yeah the way it was acting to me it was it had to be a hydraulic because i came back and i tried to rotate some of them and they moved so it bled down so that told me right away i'm pretty sure i'm dealing with it. i still wasn't sure but that's what i went with it worked out anyway uh these uh dampeners right here this one is a chevrolet off of zz4 it's an eight inch this over here is a seven and a quarter fluid dampener and um the reason why i'm bringing it up is because if you're ever wondering or can't find the snout to dampener clearance fluid dampener says it's 0 0.0005 to 0 0.0015 pretty important to get that right um, as you know these are pricey uh, and they've got a gel inside of them and their machine shop can't touch it as far as balancing so you don't want to screw it up in any way so get that clearance right that's important and uh, go on you know go on from there um, and this uh, right here is seven and being seven and a quarter inch those guys with cloy's front timing chain covers which are very, very nice because they have a built-in crankshaft end play uh, screw. And after you get it seated to the bottom, you back it off an eighth uh, of a turn, one eighth of a turn, and then that's your clearance. And uh, then you put everything back together. And they're just really nice. I like them. Some people don't uh, because usually you have to take the, uh, the um, rotating button for the cam, you have to take it and, and you have to shave some of it off. The last one I did, I had to shave 30 thousandths off because it, that, that, that cover won't go on there right. But um, yeah, these these are these are nice. If, you, if you've got the cloys, you're gonna like it. Um, so when I was um, turn, tuning that up, that motor, after I got the push rod fiasco uh, taken care of, uh, I, I, t I tuned it, you know, by ear. And what I mean to say is that uh, I put, you know, I put the timing light on. It was all timed right and everything. But I was just there was just something I could hear. I, I, it was just like a stumble, but it wasn't really bad. It was just, you know, some kind of incongruency. It just wasn't, you know. So I put the vacuum gauges on it, and uh, you know, you this is it had a holly. So what you do with your holly is you tune down the idle screw uh, the idle mixture screw to the bottom lightly seat it and then back it off a, a turn and a half do that both sides if you've got four corners do that all four corners then you put the gauge on it uh, the vacuum gauge and what you're trying to do is get the highest 
vacuum reading you can get. And what I had there was uh, a, a 10 and a half to 11 inches. And it was kind of loading up and it smelled, you know, rich. And it wasn't really bad. These are all very slight little things. But I, I just knew I could hear it. And uh, so I put the gauge on it. Now, lo and behold, I felt it was too low. I started screwing with them screws and I got it up to 13 and a half, 14. Well, at 13 and a half, you can hear it in the video. You crack that throttle, it just doesn't accelerate, it screams. And that's exactly what you're looking for. We all want our little V8 small blocks to scream. I do. Hey, I gotta get to work. I'll see you guys later.